What's up guys? Um, I made that video yesterday talking about the kind of vehicle I'm gonna buy. Um, kind of left out what I was getting, uh, obviously for a reason. Today is a pickup day and Dylan and I are out here in Fargo. Just give you a little back shot. That's what we got here. We have a 2000 Mustang, it's an automatic um, blown head gasket. It's just pretty fucked up, retard over there. Yeah, everything, honestly, doesn't look bad at all. Dylan and I went over it, we had a couple rough spots, but it's fixable. Um, gonna get a new front bumper here. Uh, we're gonna stop at a, stop at the fucking junkyard, see if they have a fender for me. But honestly, a little bit of rust, fine. We can change that out. Uh, probably have to get a new back bumper. Um, all bumper support, that's all rusted up. Different wing, that doesn't work. Um, I bought this for $800. Um, they said had a blown head gasket don't need it got that uh, engine and transmission Dylan's given me so head gasket issues not really super worried about um, interior wise she's pretty clean everything here is pretty clean don't seem to have any issues don't so forget to point out the gayest wing we could have ever put on the car <laughs> does not move up anymore here we go that's right here on the bottom I was like damn I didn't even get to look back here yeah, I did point out that wing, ugly ass wing. That will be changed really fast. Probably like one of the first things I do cosmetically once it fucking runs. This thing is literally the ugliest thing known to man. Yeah, the, the important thing though is nice tail lights and headlights. You don't have to do any of that. Yeah. Fun I, even look. Shit. I mean, you might, you gotta do this one. Depending on what wing you do. Yeah, that's fine. Um, everything seems fine. I will be probably, I don't mind that a lot, I guess, but I probably will. I already said new front bumper. I'd honestly leave these lights and just put <laughs> LED units in there. LED? They're pretty nice units. All right. No point spending 150 bucks on new lights. Man. Yeah. It looks very good. You're gonna have to buy a fucking big hood, hood scoop. Big hood scoop. Yeah, everything. Yeah, uh, a hood scoop or a different hood is depending on what they got in the junkyard. Yeah, we're gonna swing by the junkyard maybe today and see what they all have. But uh, pretty impressed for $800. This is uh, this is what it'll get you. Definitely not bad. Once uh, once we get home, got some other work to do on Gordon's golf, and then maybe uh, we can start chipping away a little bit. I don't know what the fuck we got going on, but now we have a fucking five hour drive home. Just have to point out the rig. This is a rig that uh, brought us up here. Fucking barely made it. <laughs> Worthless piece of shit. Rusted all the way through. That's an Uncle Chad kind of thing. But it's the best pickup he has in the world. Yeah. On the way down here. Dylan. You know, she's a runner, not a looker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she gets she gets the job done. Yeah, all that matters is she runs. You know, it doesn't have to look pretty as long as it gets you down here to pick up your sweet ass Mustang. Doesn't fucking matter how she runs. But uh we had a long trip back. Like I said, we're gonna swing by the junkyard. Um and then next time you guys see us we'll be working on a vehicle. guys uh turbo terry here so i just pulled uh the old mustang off off the trailer out here on crystals we got it parked here um i'm gonna go through a little bit more of a walkthrough of it 
since yesterday was just a quick brief kind of showing of what we all had we we're in front of their house and stuff so i figured i'd bring it home and then talk about it a little bit more um the main thing with this is i mainly just need help with the manual transmission and then the engine swap um the other things obviously i mean i might need a little bit of tips and some instructions but if i just you know find some shit on youtube or read enough forums i'm sure i can do like the suspension and all that shit um different wheels you know tires and chassis support like i can find shit to help me out with that it's mainly just dylan knows a lot about mustangs so doing the engine and transmission swap i do i uh, want him to help me out with that and um his next seven days off or whatever like he's saying it's gonna be like a month from like right now um but he said hopefully his next four days off we can kind of start but i'm just gonna go over the car a little bit better today show you guys what we have here's the back end of it um so definitely getting a new wing quite a bit of rust underneath just where it holds up the bumper so dylan and i will be uh taking off this back bumper taking off the support um probably gonna have to fix that already talked about getting a different wing different hell like uh, like tail light thing here i guess trunk light um trunk's fine tail lights are good interior's good a um, little bit of rust here to be expected then anything that's i guess under the hood pretty much don't need look at any of this i guess well, a lot of it will be changed out i guess oh, sorry um would all be gone through so far just pretty much the back end talk about we're gonna get get different bumper um support the bumper bumper support you know, sorry let's go. You go. change front bumper here because that's all shot and to be honest i was thinking about it you can either do like the team z stuff where they do the whole tubular back or we could the cheap way is just to pull it off the line yeah we could probably take, take years too yeah and change well if we can find a different fender that fender's a little bent up there and I mean, if worse comes to worse, I mean, it'll look kind of gay. If we can't find a red fender, we can always pull my black fender. Yeah, I'm not. I can do if I need to just see if I can paint match or some shit. Yeah. A little bit more rust here. Pretty common shit. But yeah, I mean, everything else is... That's pretty much about it. Just small spots of rust. Small, small spots of rust. Yeah. That's, that's quality stuff right there. That's, have... that's reusable, you know? Yeah. You know, you just got to send that through a nice little filter there, and that's reusable. Yeah. We drove it, like, <laughs> fucking five minutes. Not even, like, five seconds. Cool and sprayed everywhere. Yeah, you can see the... Yeah, it's all over. All everywhere. over the engine bay now. So, definitely, uh, we thought since it started up so good, we, we were thinking it might not have uh, head gasket issues, but... Yeah, I, was, after, I was hoping to be able to pressure check it, but this... Uh, after seeing there's, all there's this... There's pressure there, eh? Yeah. After seeing it spray <laughs> absolutely everywhere... Yeah, so just some small shit. I mean, nothing super crazy for body work. Um, bumpers, both of them. New fender. Interior's good, but I mean, obviously, as I get farther down the road, I'll probably change seats. Um, not a fan of these seats at all. They don't feel good. They won't have probably a different stereo because it's actually, 2000. I actually don't really mind them. I have, like, similar seats in my, uh, I just, I'm just... my 98 V6. And, I mean... They're not lookers, but I mean, they they get the job done. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it's not comfortable. I just sit so high in them, and my head's like on the ceiling, and you can't lower it, so I don't really want that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah, it'll, it'll be nice when you could just do like some race seats and seat ramps right to the ground. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind this shit. I mean, obviously, music's nice, but I'm going to just get CDs, don't really give a fuck, so that, yeah. that's not high on my list. What, what I was thinking about doing in my other V6 when I, when I V8 swapped that is I was going to turn this into the gauge pod right here where your radio is yeah and move the aftermarket radio down to here so then your gauge pods are more in your field of view yeah so then would you pull because i mean this obviously isn't a very good spot for your manual shift i mean uh that'll that'll all the the stick comes back like this comes back bit, out so. okay so almost like that triumph it does kind of suck though because when you go to the forward ones with the short throw you're almost got your fist in the dash, but yeah. if you put the stock shifter in or something, a longer handled shifter, you won't be so bad. Okay. Yeah. So I don't mind that steering wheel stay for a while. It's actually in pretty like really good condition actually. Um, so I don't mind that at all. I actually really like this dash. 
I haven't even looked in here. Absolutely then, zero storage. It's pretty cool. When you start going like more race car oriented, you can actually like take these airbags out and they make panels that just go right over where that goes to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, interior, everything's good. I don't even need a back seat. No one will ever ride back there, especially with me. My seat's always pushed. Yeah, and we can delete all that. Yeah, my seat's pushed back as far as it can go at all times in every vehicle I'm in. So I wouldn't see it being any different for this one. Um, yeah, I already talked about that. A little bit of rust there, different wing, trunk's fine. All windshield, back back window, windows are all good. So it's just small body work shit, but otherwise everything we plan on doing would be uh The main thing is all the small things that are going to nickel and dime you, like the door seals, lights are good, tires are decent. Tires are pretty nice, yeah. And I don't... And rims aren't... Wheels aren't awful. Rims aren't my favorite, but if a guy wanted to go full budget, we could just powder coat them. Yeah, I mean, we can we can fix those down the road. Not bad right now. Really Duh. the only one that... Change this, this one, but depending yeah. on what wing you go with, you might have a different light. If you go with like the 0304 Cobra, and they got the integrated light in them, then we'll see. If you do do that, I'd have a brake light that can go on there. But. We'll see. I really like these taillights actually. I think Mustangs always had really good taillights. I, re I really like these ones. I also have a set of uh, uh, export mirrors or export lights too where it's got the amber right here okay. some people don't like them i actually think they look pretty sick but yeah, since I, i'm selling my race car i don't need them no more mine's in my other one's a 98 so yeah they won't work on that one hmm. yeah so everything interior wise honestly changed seats but everything else is pretty nice and once we get different engine and trans none of this i guess i mean there'll be small upgrades but none of this stuff really honestly right here yeah matters all that much and then Honestly, you can bring the black pack on this with cleaning it and then doing like ceramic coating on it. I did that okay. on my sled and it worked yeah. really good. Okay. But I have a new wiper cowl too if we just wanted to go that. All right. Yeah, we can around. see. I mean, I don't really think I'm not too worried about this. I mean, it doesn't even look that bad to be honest with you. Yeah. It's just little stuff like that that I got. And then I got new trunk mat for the back and yeah. stuff like that. So. Yeah. So it'll be a, it'll be a little bit of a journey. Uh, main thing i guess is that kenny brown chassis support you're talking about once we get engine and trans and it, it, to be able to run um that'd probably be one of the first things because cosmetically i want to wear all my cosmetic shit a lot later yeah i'd rather have performance wise and not even for it to be like a huge track day like just for it to actually be a usable vehicle yeah. first the nice part about leaving the exterior the way it is now is a guy like when you have a super nice car it's it's awesome because you're like yeah my car looks cool but at the same time you also get a little afraid to use it yeah you're like oh, that's how i am with my srt4 yeah whatever, you know? yeah so sometimes leaving the exterior like this and making the car actually perform is actually more fun because you can just not care as much yep <laughs> i'm thinking that's it's kind of the route i'm gonna go with for a little bit because when i bought my srt4 everything looks so nice cosmetically and Obviously, performance-wise, I'm afraid to even park it in a freaking parking lot near someone. So, I don't really want that with this car uh, right away. I'd rather have it perform the way I want it to, and then I can start making it look uh, look pretty, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's not like it looks ugly right now. I mean, we'll fix all the rust shit, but all the cosmetic shit's kind of last on my list. But, yeah, like I said, once Dylan gets some more time off, like I said, the main thing is really just engine and transmission. The other shit I can find... I can find enough forums or videos and instructions like to do that shit on my own, but it's mainly just engine and transmission, but you know, and the, the lucky part for you is I bought some NRG tow hooks too. Yeah. And they're, uh, red, so. Fucking great. I'm going to probably come back out here with a fucking car cover next time I'm out here. Cause I don't want my feet shit to get all like super, super, super faded. I would, I would grab some, uh, my stuff you know like some of that irish spring i've got mothballs and shit okay whatever whatever you want to put in there yeah because i gotta change up some uh i got a bunch some shit in there i'll stir with these because these are actually pretty sick you're oh my god those are fucking banging yeah nice red they'll fit the car they will pretty sick yeah, those are really nice yeah i was gonna use them on the race car but I think I'm going to sell that one and just build the 98, so. Hmm. Rather than just spending a bunch of money on a car that isn't going to 
be on the road for three some years. I, I think it'd be more fun to just build it as I go on the weekends and actually be able to drive the car as you build it, you know? Yep, that makes sense. Yeah, so that's, that's another thing is we gotta gotta toss up a lot of time management shit because, I mean, like I said, Dylan's the one that knows all the all the shit that goes into it. So once we get uh, engine trans, like I said, for the 19th fucking time, I'll be able to kind of a little bit more of a free bird. Check this bad girl out. I'll show you this real quick. All right. This was a steal. The story I was told on this is it is... A, it's either a 99 or 2001, I can't remember which one, uh, crate engine that Ford was using for testing. And they ended up shelving the project because they started doing the 0304 stuff where they supercharged those because they were down on power. They didn't like that. <coughs> they had ass kicked by Chevy, basically. <laughs> so they shelved this. Well, when the plant, I don't know, either closed down or decided to sell engines or whatever, whatever the case was, they had like 7.3 stuff, they had 034 Cobra engine, they had this, um, some other NASCAR stuff. Well, one of the employees that worked there bought this stuff, and the guy that I bought this motor from had a NASCAR engine in his, sold, traded the NASCAR engine for this engine, decided he didn't want it, and that's how I ended up with it. But, so yeah, brand new, great engine, never even had fuel through it, all the block off plates are on it, all hoses are capped and everything. So what are you gonna do with this then? This is the one that's gonna go on my 98. I'm going to do this in the 98. I have my G-Force Trans here, my 3650. All billet gears and front plate and everything, 1,000 horse Trans. So that'll be good to go. I'm still trying to figure out proper bell housing setup. I've gone through two bell housings and they were the wrong ones. So I contacted them, the G-Force again and they're helping me out on figuring out which one to do. So, Shit, yeah, that'd be I found, nice. I found the right bolt pattern to the transmission, which is Ford top loader. And then they don't offer a top loader to 4.6 because it's a small block Ford top loader. So I was like, well, oh, I, guess, I guess I'll get another one. I read online that the Muncie transmissions are the same, so I bought that. Well, then the, the uh, measurement on the bearing retainer here is wider than the bell housing so the bell housing doesn't mount, mount to there but it mounts to the engine now so so you got a whole fucking you got one pairs with the other that's one pairs with this one and they don't want to pair together yeah yeah he's got a lot of shit going on here i'm just jealous of this yeah this this was a steal just jealous. i got it in billings i just think jealous. 1800 bucks there's only thirty thousand miles on this unit i'm just jealous. there's not even a touch of rust on it just jealous yeah just Sorry, imagine, just imagine leave. this, this on that, huh? Hmm? No, no. <laughs> you can find your own IRS and we'll go pick it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's what I was really excited about this because it's so expensive to get an IRS, and most of the time you don't get lucky enough to find them close enough to you. And then are you looking to sell your yeah. race car? Yeah, I'm gonna sell the black car. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do the black car separate and do the engine separate. Or I think what I'm going to try and do is try and sell it all together and just do like a thousand dollar discount on, off of what I could do with them separate. How much are you thinking for your race car and, and your motor? I'm thinking the car as a roller, probably 2,500 to three. I mean, is a, is a really fair deal. I mean, just doing the cage alone, you're probably thinking <coughs> three grand and work on that. So that's a small okay. deal. The tires alone on it are because those are new. slicks right yeah those are drag slicks et et streets let's go we'll head back there because yeah i mean especially if you have it for sale it's not like it's not like i get a shit ton of views but i definitely get enough people that might be interested in well and i'll, I'll have a whole write-up on everything you know I and you can I send it my way too, and I, can... I can't remember the brand but i think it's uh <coughs> uh i can't think of it off the top of my head but anyway aftermarket k-member max motorsport uh, camera caster plates, um, SVE. These are uh, nice. Wheels. Real nice. Yeah, these are brand new. Yeah, I mean, they I still, got the, still got, they the, still nubs. got the nubs on them. Yeah. The back tires are pretty much new. They only got eight passes on them. So did you yourself ever take this to drive, really? No, I, I bought it from Vosburgh's Customs. It was one of his Ooh, customers nice. that was selling it out of uh, Sioux Falls. So. Yeah, so this is damn good vehicle, and... 
Like I, like I was just telling Dylan, so like I get a shit ton of views, but I know that I posted that SRT4, uh, the uh, the Carmageddon weekend one. Yeah. And the cover of that video is someone's Vic doing a burnout. The mm -hmm. guy that drove that Vic commented on that video. Oh, what the he heck? He said, that's my Vic. That is, uh, that's the fucking thumbnail. So, I mean, it's a pretty small world. So we're from North Dakota. You well, guys that, see it. I was telling you yesterday about McDonald's. I knew I knew that <laughs> blue Mustang yeah. was in the parking lot. Yeah, we saw blue like, Mustang. I know I've seen it at Brainerd. And I asked yep. him, I was like... Have you ever been to Brainerd? He was like, we were literally there two weeks ago. Yeah. Like, yep. Yeah. So I know I've seen it. It's definitely pretty small, and uh, we definitely freaking get around. So if you guys want a race car, well, yeah. So we kind of went over everything today about this Mustang, Dylan's Mustang. Um, like I said, I'll leave off his his Instagram and shit. Um, so you guys want to want a fucking race car? You guys go ahead over there, uh, message him. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. It'll probably take me a couple weeks to get everything sorted out. I, mean, I got a lot of other projects to fix in. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll have him send over some lists, or if you guys just text him, I'm sure he can get it to you guys if you guys are looking for it because he's looking to sell it here in a little bit. So, but yeah, we went over this Mustang, all the parts Dylan has to offer for me, and it'll be a long journey. Uh, sorry, I really didn't get anything done today. I guess more so just going over the car. Didn't really do it there because they're sitting in their driveway and pretty busy road so we don't really want to sit in there and talk so that's all today was um next time hopefully we'll be working on it but in the meantime i'll see if i can push out some uh some other shit for you guys but that's all i got today um you guys are gonna follow along with this it's gonna be dylan and i pretty much the whole way maybe gordon gavin uncle chad maybe they'll step in and help out sometimes um sometimes it'll just be me i guess if dylan's busy and i can do some smaller shit but um pretty much just gonna be him and i the whole way so if you guys are looking to follow along with us, fucking leave a like, subscribe. We'll see you guys again.